Let's discuss projector of the house. Projector motion, if you want to call it, right? Whatever you call it, a projector or a projector motion. See the same thing. All right. Um, before then, let me give you an, an idea of how projectors work. We discussed we discussed about two things on motion first. First of all, we define motion. That's the previous class. Define motion. Uh, because of the equations of motion, we said we have about three major equations of motion. That's v equal to u plus at x equal to u t plus r a t squared. Um, v squared is equal to u squared plus two a x. Then one final one. Uh, x equal to u plus v over 2 c. So this cost motion, we call it the equations of uh, motion, the four equations. After motion, we now want to what's called free form. When we talk about motion, we mean when the body is moving, just normal motion, uh, majorly for the vertical uh, distance. Oh, sorry, for the horizontal distance, right? When anybody moves horizontally, um, discuss them using these parameters. After this one, I went into what was called free fall. And I said free fall is almost like this. But we said when the body undergoes free fall, what does it mean? It means it's what the vertical motion of the body under the influence of gravity. That's free fall. So for your normal motion, the body is moving this way, right? That's horizontally. For free fall, the body is moving vertically from the center. And we said when it comes to free fall, it follows this pattern, but there are some changes. What changes? From free fall, A becomes from there, G. Also for free fall, S becomes from there, H. Right? The acceleration becomes acceleration due to gravity. And then S, your, vert your horizontal distance comes from there now, vertical height. So we said for free fall that V is equal to U plus or minus A was G becomes GT. We said S, for horizontal distance, becomes height, H. So S becomes H. So H is equal to UT. This becomes plus or minus. We say, okay, half. We said A becomes G. It becomes GC squared. One last one here. We have that V squared is equal to 2 squared, uh, U squared, plus or minus 2. We said A becomes G. It becomes GX. So this became uh, equation of free form GH. So this becomes our three uh, major equations of free form. That I said, when I use plus or minus, is dependent on the direction of the body. If the body is going downwards, it's falling downwards, what do you use there? Positive. Why? It's going towards gravity. If the body is being thrown upwards, what do you, what do you use there now? Negative. Why? It's going what there? Against gravity. So we talk about these two things. Uh, the classes online. Just check our WhatsApp group. So WhatsApp. Check our YouTube page. These two stuff right there. I've uploaded. Them, I've already uploaded them. So check them. You see it. By the way, let's now discuss another type of motion. Let me use a diagram. Look up. Let me use a diagram to distinguish the three of them. Number one, your normal motion. Normal motion is when the body moves horizontally. Just like I'm moving like this now. This we call this is a normal motion. I'm moving this way here, that's a horizontal motion. That's this. This is your normal motion. For free form, you say body moves vertically upwards or downwards. Example, if I choose chop like this way now, it goes up and then comes down. Right? So now it becomes a vertical motion. Whether up or down. This is free form. So here's your normal motion, horizontal. Yes, your free form motion. Vertical, whether upwards or downwards. And of course, you now have projector. So how does projector go? This is how you project that go. Um, just like, let's say, I have a bed on a tree, of course, and I want to shoot the bed, right? So you, of course, you hold your string and then you pull it. If I hold my string and pull it, see a bed, yes? Let's say this is a tree. Um, this, I have one bed here. This is my, my diagram. I'm here, I pick the um, string here, and I shoot a stone this way. How does it go? Goes this way, perhaps hits the bed or perhaps misses the target. And of course, it goes this way and comes down. So you see the motion here? It goes like this. It's called, right? This is what is called a projector, right? That's what is called a projector. 
the parabolic motion of the body. Uh, that's the concept. Let's define the definition. Projector definition. Projector definition. A projector motion is the motion of an object. A projector motion is the motion of an object projected upwards is the motion of an object projected upwards at an angle into the air projected upwards at an angle into the air and moving under the influence of gravity at an angle into the air and moving under the influence of gravity to stop the motion of the projector the motion of the projector is described the motion of the projector is described as shown below the motion of a projector is described as shown below The motion projector is described as shown below. Draw this one. The motion of the projector is described as shown below. John. It's just kept, kept, kept very fast. So this is actually where they want to focus on when it comes to projector. Yes, we have to focus on. If you're done, take one line space, paragraph. Some basic concepts, if you're done, take one line space, take paragraph. Some basic concepts of a projector motion include number one. Some basic concepts of a projector motion include number one. Time of flash on the board. By one time of flight. By one time 
of light in bracket small c. Definition. This is the time. This is the time it takes. This is the time it takes a projector. This is the time it takes a projector to move from the plane of projection to the maximum height. This is the time it takes a projectile to move from the plane of projection to the maximum height. Full stop. This way, this way, plane, this way, plane of projection to move from the plane of projection to the maximum height. Mathematically, mathematically, C is equal to U sin theta all over G. Mathematically, C, that's multi there, is equal to U sin theta all over G. So that's the uh, mathematical expression for the time of light, U sin theta all over G. Number two, total time of light. Number two, total time of light. Number two, total time of light. This should be a capital C. Uh, capital C. This is the time. This is the time it takes a projector. This is the time it takes a projector. To move from the plane of projection to the maximum height. This is the time it takes a projector to move from the field of projection to the maximum height and back to the field of projection and back to the plane of projection and back to the plane of projection. Mathematically, C is equal to 2C. That means total time of light is twice the value of what? time of light, so we say. So hence, is now equal to 2. What's T here? C is U sine theta, right? So because of that, 2 U sine theta all over G. That's it. That's it, right? This is U sin theta over G. This is 2U sin theta all over G. Third concept, maximum height. Third concept. Maximum height. Third concept. Maximum height. Capital H. This is the highest vertical distance. This is the highest vertical distance covered by a projector during a projector motion. The highest maximum distance covered by I said, sorry, I said what there? The highest vertical 
this time covered by a projector during a projector motion full stop mathematically mathematically h is equal to u square sine square theta all over 2 g mathematically h is equal to u square sine square theta all over 2 g so here's your expression for the maximum half next up Let's view range. Next up, let's view range. This is the total horizontal distance. This is the total horizontal distance. Covered by a projector, the total horizontal distance covered by a projector after it comes back, after it comes back to the plane of projection. Because you can see from when it leaves the plane of projection till when it comes back to the plane of projection from when it leaves the plane of projection to when it comes back to the plane of projection i said this is the total or maximum horizontal distance covered by a projectile motion or a projectile during projectile motion from when it leaves the plane of projection till when it comes back to plane of projection. That's it. It's a problem. Mm -hmm. Mathematically, R is equal to U square sine sub theta all over G. Mathematically, U is equal to R is equal to U square sine to theta all over g all right that's definition for definition sake let's now explain them or highlight them a bit let's highlight them a bit all right so this one we have what is called time of flight what is time of flight simply the total time a total takes from plane of projection towards maximum height so look at it in my diagram here where is your time of flight? Simply time from this point up toward there, maximum half. So that's it's, it's not like saying half of the whole journey, right? Yes. So the time it takes a part to cover half of the whole journey is time of flight. From here to the maximum point, that's all. Next up, total time of flight is from the time it takes a, a projector motion or projector to move from field of projection to maximum height and then back to this point. Now, here's the thing, it's assumed, I use the word assume, it's assumed that the time it takes a body to move from here to your maximum height is the same time it takes a body to move from here to this point. It's an assumption, it's not real. So, the concept of saying that total time of flight is two times of this, that means if it takes, let's say, three seconds to move from here to here, it's not even that three seconds to move from here. That's just an assumption, it's not too real. Why? There's something called air resistance. Yes. So if I climb the top of this building here, yeah, right, I have a stone, a very big stone in my hand, and I have a leaf, right, stone and leaf. If I jump to the same time, which one gets to the ground first? The stone. Why? Why? Because of what's called air resistance. So there's something like, there's something, there's something actually with holding the leaf. That's why you see it down low, right? Why? Because Something called air resistance is resisting the motion of that leaf. Since leaf does not have enough weight, it will be resisted by the what? Air resistance. That's like the concept towards it. Yeah. Alright. So, the concept of saying that the time 
from here to here. The same time from here to here. It's not true. It's not true. Right? So we are, we are doing this with an option that is what there, no air resistance. Right? That's the assumption. That's for this. Maximum height. What's maximum height? Please. Maximum height is not your vertical distance. No. There are many vertical distances. The maximum height is what? The highest vertical distance. By many vertical distances, I mean this. If I have this motion here, of course, at this point, there's a height here. Yeah? The vertical distance here. You can see this. Also, at this point here, you can see this too. There's also a vertical distance. This vertical distance here is much more bigger than this one. Of course, the distance here. This one, this, this, this vertical distance is bigger than this one here. This one here is bigger than this one here. But if I should draw vertical distance at this point, the higher should be at the center. That's what's called over there, the maximum height. So I'll say it's what? The highest vertical distance um, that a projectile undergoes. That's why. Right. So here's your mathematical relationship, right? Finally, range. What's range? The highest vertical is maximum height. The highest vertical comes from there, range, right? So the particle moves from here, goes up, and then comes back here. Where this man hits, this is called the plane of projection. So from where it started to where it ends, this horizontal distance is called the range. That's it. Right. The form the mathematical relation for range is u squared sine 2 theta over g. When it comes to punching, I will show you something. Sine squared theta is not the same as sine theta. They are different. Right, uh, that's by the way. How do you find the parameters? How do you find the parameters? Okay, where u is equal to initial velocity. Of course, v meters per second. Uh, theta is equal to angle of projection. This should be in degrees. This should be in degrees. G is equal to acceleration due to gravity. That should be about 10 meters per second squared. So we prefer to use 9.8. So now you're trying to use 9.8 or 10. What again? That's all. That's all. That's all. All right, let's do this space. Um, here is something to note, please. We just said rain is maximum horizontal distance and we have an angle of this Theta is note n slash b note n slash b note n slash b note for a body or a projector for a body or a projector to cover a maximum horizontal distance for a body or a projector to cover a maximum horizontal distance comma for a body or a projector to cover a maximum horizontal distance comma the body must be projected at 45 degrees the body must be projected at 45 degrees this is actually like one of the most frequent jam questions right yeah, 45 degrees look at this that is that is we are saying this outmass of course at 
when theta is equal to 45 degrees. Now, what is the use of this idea? What is the use of this idea? Uh, this is used for I think this is used for those guys that do what do you call it? Javelin, that throw javelin. You know, for you to win the javelin competition, it's the person whose javelin goes farther big that wins the stuff there. Javelin is actually portray the cost of the projectile. Of course, look at the motion. They are truly this way. So it goes this way, goes into the air, and then drops down, pin at the ground there. So the concept is this. The farther your javelin pins, probably you win the javelin competition. So the idea is this. If you want to actually win the competition, there's how to slide your hand or your throw for you to get a maximum distance. Right? If I hold a javelin like this and throw, it gives me a different distance as if I hold it so that way there. The idea is the angle of your holding it. And we are saying this that, that if I want to throw it in such a way that I have my highest distance, at what angle should I hold it? That's as well there, 45 degrees. Right? Those guys are actually trained. They actually trained in such a way that they know what holding 45 degrees is. Right? You, you, you hold from the very start of the training, right? You hold your javelin and they measure for the fire during the training. So you measure for the fire so much that even when there is no measurement, you can actually hold and be like, this is actually for the fire. Why? You've been training to the, the, the whole lot. That's the concept. So they throw as for the fire degrees to get their maximum range. And that's the idea there. We see that for arrow marks, theta is what? 45 degrees. Put the value of theta here. It means that arrow marks means that R max instead of R now is equal to from here I'm having u squared sine 2 theta. So it becomes u squared sine 2 for R max, what's the that here? 45 g. It becomes 45 all over what there? G. What is that? What do you get? This is equal to u squared sine 2 times 45 is 90 all over g. So it's now equal to u squared. What's the value of sine 90? That's 1. Point sine 90 gets 1. All over g. Alright, so it's now equal to u squared times 1 is u squared over g. That means r max is equal to u squared over g. Please note, r is equal to u squared sine 2 theta over g. Why arrow max? This one disappears. It's just u squared over g. I'll show you why. Because theta becomes 45. 2 times 45 is 90. Sine 90 is 1. And it's all. So please don't stop it. Jam questions on this are usually at what angle should a body be projected to get maximum range? The answer is 45 degrees. Number two asks you what is the expression? Which of the following expresses the maximum range? The answer is u squared over g. That's it. That's it. All right. Let's take some examples. And so, let's take some examples. And so, all right. Sample problems. Sample problems. Sample problems. Number one. A projectile is fired. A projectile is fired with an initial velocity. Projectile is fired with an initial velocity of 120 meters per second. Of 120 meters per second at an angle of 35 degrees at an angle of 35 degrees with the horizontal 35 degrees with the horizontal calculate number one calculate number one the time of flight Calculate number one, that's I there, the time of flight. 
Number two, the total time of life. Number three, the maximum height attained. Number three, the maximum height attained. Number four, the range. Number four, the range. All right. All right. The solution, uh, as usual, my equal will be to restart by given parameter. What am I giving that? Two things. What are what there? That's you. And then equal to what there? 120 meters per second. Next up, your angle of projection. Is it happening there? 25 degrees. Alright. Um, now, mind you, okay, I'll show something. I'll show something. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll show something. Um, now, when you ask time of there, the time of flat, that's T. What's T there? U sin theta all over G. That day will not be allowed to take any formula. Not be allowed. This should be in your head. This one no wait so equation of all this should not be in your head. There is no cross check. It's equal to what's you there? One twenty sign. What's that there? That's in five all over G is what? Alright, ten. You say you should use nine point eight. Use 9.8. Okay? No worries. Please give me more of this. Punch 120 sign 35. What do you have? 120 sign 35. What do you have? Sixty-eight point one there. Eight two. Eight two. All over there. What do you get now? Six point eight eight two. Points. Second. It's a time of restart, it's so not We start this thing, we'll be good. Number two, total time of last. Total time of last. That's capital C. We set this equal to two times small t. That's now equal to two times small t, 6.882. Multiply to get there. That's four, six, seven point one three. Huh? Thirteen point six seven six four, right? All right. What's the unit? What's the unit? Second. Two times two four. Times eight sixteen six times one two times eight sixteen plus one seventeen seven times one two times six twelve plus one thirteen so that's it. About three. What's not in there? Maximum height. I think Java has stopped giving what do you call it. Have you copy? Yes. It was back in those days, give you those market book calculator. It has a big body. And then small screen. I wonder what the idea behind that. The idea behind calculus is that I want to see the screen. But the body is big with one small finger screen there. But that's the whole concept though. The idea is now on this. I think what I think what I say, one of the things that delays your calculation is calculator. But don't believe it. Calculator has a way of delaying your calculation. Something like this, now you don't have to put your calculator. It's clever from here, not the two. Right? It's more like saying, if you make a calculator, right? Give me few numbers. So that's this one here, right? This normal numbers. Multiples of two. Get a calculator. I will always get the answer for you. Honestly. Alright, so what am I going to say? I'm going to say this. Try to work on the calculation speed. Right? If you try to solve the calculator, you'll be faster than if you use a calculator. Trust me. Of course, now, the first now online, it has a section. Before you now go and find a calculator, type on change, moving your, your cursor. 3.882 times. You're wasting time. I just put that one there. 
No. Maximum height, your formula is H equal to u squared sine squared theta all over 2g. What does sine squared theta mean? What does it mean? If I say sine squared theta, what does it mean? What does it mean? If I say sine 2 theta, it means sine 2 times the theta. If I now say sine squared theta, what does it mean? Huh? No, no, that's not it. That's not it. What, 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 sign, what does sine squared theta mean? Um, if I, I, I just said, I just said it. Said, if I say sine, okay, what is it? If I say sine 2 theta, it means with this angle here, multiply 2, as we did it in range. But what if I now say sine square theta? Does this mean that I'm having sine theta? I will squash that value. No. No. That's not it. So sine squared theta is not equal to sine theta squared. No. So if I have sine squared theta, what does it mean? So this is now equal to u squared sine theta all squared. That's not sine squared theta. Sine squared theta means I'll take sine theta first, the value I'll now square it. That's the idea. All over 2g. So it's now equal to input value. This one is 120 square into this gives you sine. Theta was what? 35? 35 all square all over 2g. 2 times 10. Right. This is now equal to what do you got here? 14400. I'm not mistaken. 14400. What sign is it? 5. Huh? 0 0.573 Alright, all square All over 2 times 10 is 20 What is that? This is equal to 1, 4, 4, 0, 0 Please give me this one square, what do you get? 0 0.328 0 0.328 Okay? All over 20 Multiply the numerator, what do you get? Yeah? What? It's 8.82. No. This was 120 sine this. So this value, I still multiply it with 120. Four point seven two three two all over twenty. Please give me back here. Four point seven two. Four point seven two. Four seven two. Yes. Okay, so four seven two three three points. This. First one, I'll give you a second. This one is a meter per second. You like meter per second. What should you do for this man? You have to give me his length. You have to see what's your unit. You have to give me his length. Is what? Is what? It's M. It's M. That's max, right? What's the unit for this now? What's the unit for, for height? What's the unit? Huh? You should be sure of yourself. Huh? Hold on. What's this? What's this? What do you, what, what do you, what, what do you do you measure height? 
That becomes what the total time of light for the set of the pillar projection. If they ask how long will it take to reach the maximum height, that becomes what the time of light. Now they ask you what is maximum height. That's the formula. They ask you what is total horizontal distance covered. That's range. Right. So that's like the concept of projectile. All right. Any questions, please? Any questions? Alright. So, I don't know if I should add one more, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Another one. This one here. You have to go to there. Punch this, punch this, punch this, you have this. Punch this, you have this. Yes. Sorry? Gravity. Is it 10 or 9.8? It's a constant now. G is a constant. G is a constant. The value is 10 meters per second squared. But this one is usually 9.82. No. But for this stuff, use 10. Except it's been specified. Right? In Java, you see in bracket, G is equal to 9.8. So use that value. G is equal to 10. Right? So what I use 9.8 or 10, you have approximately the same thing. So that's it. I have some questions here, though. but this is not okay. Okay, copy down, take down these questions. Try this up, please. A body is projected upwards. Try this up. A body is projected upwards at an angle of 30 degrees. A body is projected upwards at an angle of 30 degrees. 
with the horizontal at an angle of 30 degrees with the horizontal with an initial speed of 200 meters per second full stop so let's try this a body is projected upwards at an angle of 30 degrees with the horizontal with an initial speed of 200 meters per second full stop in how many seconds will it reach the ground question mark in how many seconds will it reach the ground question mark How far from the point of projection will it strike? Question mark. How far from the point of projection will it strike? Question mark. Just like question, please. You have to find what and what there. Huh? Look at the question there. You have to find what and what. Huh? What and what? What you have there is it time of flight or total time of flight? It's total. Why? Why is total? It's coming back to the ground. So that means it has covered the whole projection. That's because of the now. Total time of flight. What else are you asking to there? I know now which parameter is that. That's what I'm asking. Huh? How far? Maximum height. How far from the point of projection will it strike? Right asking for that. How's the range now? By this, this. Right? See your, your, see your projection from here. From here, step from here. That's you. How far? From what? So see your point of projection here. This from, from here I shot it. How far from this point? It cannot. Here, look at it. There are two distances there. This one here, maximum height. This one here, range. Obviously, it's not really. It's possible to ask you this way. It's possible, but not at this your level. I mean, an advanced level to ask you this. And it's possible to find, right? It's possible to find. But of course, not this. That's it from here to this point. That is how far from the point of projection that becomes your range. So this is the idea there. Do not, do not ask them, do not say find range. No. You, you, you put it in what it works, right? That's the concept. Alright, so that's um, I think so the wire class. Like we use this question. So I'll be wire based. So this is jump class. I won't bother you. Let's end physics.